All right, we got quite a lot to talk about. We got deliveries to talk about what the CEO said about the Abu Dhabi thing, and then also about how Neil is limiting a cash burn and what Neil is doing, their genius strategy, which is very interesting to talk about. So, so far, last week they delivered 3,400 vehicles, insurance registrations, and total this so far this month until the 17th. 7,900 so it's shaping out to be about 16,000 deliveries this month assuming that uh, we're, we're getting good deliveries by the latter half of this month so probably maybe around that or maybe a bit more than that pretty good deliveries in my opinion and also here's what the CEO said there's some reports some rumors that now Neo is uh, Neo CEO is not the biggest shareholder in the company in Neo and people are saying that uh, Neo, Neo CEO is not. But Neo CEO came out and said this, which basically is saying that for quite a long time, he was not the biggest shareholder. Because when Neo went public, he gave 50 million shares that he had as like a, a donation almost to the Neo Trust Group. So it was basically this fund managed by elected Neo owners. And they do all sorts of investments and interesting things with that money one thing they did was they provided a emergency hammer for every new owner they also were able to do uh, emergency uh, rescue stuff uh, when uh, covid just broke out and people couldn't get food people were starving though some of the funds were appropriated to helping those people so he said that in most of those stats that count the number of shares people own they have not subtracted that 50 million amount from him so he he hasn't been the first placed uh, in terms of number of neo shares owned for a while based on what he said but he said he does have the preferred voting rights and he is the biggest uh, he has the most preferred voting rights so he still has the say so in what happens with the company etc so that's 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 a good thing and a lot of people were concerned that um, soon this company is going to be controlled by the uh, UAE uh, that's not the case that's not going to happen they will have board of directors there but yeah not gonna happen also totally unrelated but yesterday just yesterday there was a magnitude 6.2 earthquake or is it 6.8 earthquake in Gansu uh, here in China and immediately today well uh, lots of people perished unfortunately but uh, immediately today Neo came out and said they were donating 5 million RMB to victims and uh, to aid basically to help that situation and it's a it's a trend that is going on like whenever there's an emergency and you want to remain good to the public you have to basically do donation and it's a game of if you donate more you're gonna get more uh, more love from the community people are gonna love your brand even more uh, Lee Auto donated 10 million RMB so this is a necessary money to be spent all right it's not a whole lot but it's a very good move all right now let's talk about some of the things that Neo is doing to limit cash burn and, and this genius strategy let's talk about the genius strategy so for the longest time ever new houses were placed at posh shopping malls with lots of traffic and people can go and check out the car and test drive the car but one problem is of course battery swap stations could sometimes be far away and they couldn't really see a swap station for themselves that could be a potential problem but now their strategy is they're actually opening up new houses on the highway resting areas so this is just incredible because what you're seeing is especially during vacation times uh, there's a lot of traffic at those highway resting areas everybody has to stop replenish rest uh, eat a meal go to the bathroom if they drive EV charge if they drive a Neo swap and they already have swap stations there so they're able to build new houses right next to the swap station and it's not like they're they're like building a new building they have a dedicated resting area the highway does and they're just renting out a portion of it uh, to build and, and basically renovate as a new house for new owners to rest in and also because there's so much traffic uh, EV buyers can go see uh, EV owners can go and see what Neo's all about gasoline 
vehicle owners can also see what Neo is all about. And perfect timing, they can test drive around the block, around that area, and also, of course, see the swap station in action. It's right there. It's, I think it's an excellent strategy. And um, it's dual purpose, right? Right now, you see Neo has one uh, airport new house. And soon they have these highway new houses as well. And Neo is pretty much becoming the exclusive club that the only way to enter is by buying a Neo vehicle, which is very, very nice. I think this was what they intended on doing all along. And it's definitely going to help with sales, of course, 100%. But yes, you might say uh, it might be a waste of money. Look, the more new houses they build, especially in those smaller cities, the more sales you get, all right? Because in those big cities, there's already uh, more Neo buyers than BMW and Mercedes buyers. And just today, I got the information from Neo's PR team. They told me that in big cities, they are still selling more than those posh brands, BMW and uh, Mercedes in big cities, okay? But in small cities, uh, people don't really have access to swap stations. They don't really have access to new house they might not be fully educated in what Neo was all about so they perhaps st are still stuck in the old mindset set of buying a uh, vehicle like BMW or Mercedes etc so that's a very interesting stat they they told me now what is Neo doing to limit cash burn because cash burn is a very big thing new houses adds to that cash burn uh, I'm really happy to report these two things the first one you guys probably might already know it's that they've limited the amount of energy that you can uh, get out from the vehicle if you went and got a free battery swap. So for me, I, had, I have free battery swap unlimited so I can swap as many times as I want. And some people have been abusing this and basically swapping and then getting the car fully charged and using the car as a power source and powering other stuff like their own shops or camper vans, etc., charging other EVs, and uh, it's abusing Neo's free, free electricity, which is not good. So they limited that, which is very, very nice. And one thing they're also limiting right now, and this is, uh, this is something that uh, it was, it was a little hack that Neo owners knew, and that was purchasing and selling of Neo points. And for the longest time ever, if you wanted to buy something on the Neo Life store, you can buy with cash, but that's the dumb way of buying it. The smart way is to buy the Neo points from someone else, and usually you get like a 30% discount or 30 to 25% discount on those Neo points. And then you can buy the item you want using Neo points. And essentially, you've uh, you've saved on a lot of money. So what you see is you have a bunch of people that are just Neo Point traders. Uh, they advertise that they're selling Neo Points at uh, 74 cents on the dollar and then they're buying Neo Points at 76 cents on the dollar. So if you have extra Neo Points, you can sell it to them. If you want to buy Neo Points, you can buy it from them. Also vouchers, all sorts of stuff, you can buy it from them. But now, and this is a big problem, right? Obviously, if I spent money and bought whatever item I wanted to buy, then Neil would have earned some extra revenue. It would have been, it would have showed up as the other revenue section in the earnings report. But everybody knows about this trick, this hack. So it doesn't make sense to pay with money. It makes sense to buy Neil points and pay with that. Now Neil is really restricting this, and what they're trying to prevent is this overabundance of trading of 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 Neil point trading. And they're limiting it to 1 million Neo points per month, which I think is still very high. And that's not really going to affect that much. I mean, 1 million Neo points is, is worth a lot of money. It's worth like 100K RMB. Uh, and that's, that's a way too much, I think. I still think that's way too much. So they're limiting on the amount of Neo points you can send out per month. They made the limit very high because there are some ballers right you know like general managers of the city or the ceo they like to give out neo points and they they give out neo points like um during special events and etc and if you made this number too low it would be very awkward because then they can't give out neo points it would be it would be bad so i think neo should have done like a, a sort of like a restriction with exception so like uh, maybe 
limit put the limit down to 100k neo points and have the uh have like neo employees have unlimited trading for uh neo points if they want to give it out sure they can give it out so i think that would make more sense 